A new stars in Alpha 3.23 EPTU patch just dropped not too long ago for up to wave 1 testers. And we're going straight into the patch notes. For features and gameplay in the characters category, it says they've updated the animations on character customizer review page. Under location AI, it says AI flights will now use an effective range ratio to determine when to fire. Under the gameplay, they've done a further Moby Glass UI polish pass. They've updated visuals of the visor minimap, routing UI, and added icons. They've added additional buttons for throttle trim. They've updated the vehicle entrance and unattended vehicle marker. They've added binding to tell whether you are in a turret control manned or remote etc further thruster water interaction tuning has been done they gave water interaction limits to explosions and move button binding for cargo docking to right alt n and in, and in arena commander they've allowed power distribution in pre-game in weapons and items they've adjusted the baron smg gemini smg and the ravager shotgun recoil as well as the damage for those weapons as well on the bug fixes they fixed an issue where not able to accept character creator they also fixed an issue where markers are inconsistently interactable they fixed an issue where some notifications are appearing blank they fixed an issue where you cannot accept shared missions due to incorrect mission invite notification they fixed an issue where a comm link tab is blank and does not display any information when opened with f11 keybind they fixed an issue where visor chat only exits focused with escape key and x on widget they fixed an issue where the elevator between the lobby and the main concourse are missing at Grimhex. They fixed an issue where loading screen after being sent to or from uh, Kleschler does not go away. I had that myself. I'm glad that they fixed that. They fixed an issue where vehicle panel and home screen does not show any ship data. I didn't notice that myself, so that's a good fix. Player character can spin rapidly when exiting prone. They fix an issue where incorrect ammo count after repooling is interrupted. They also fix an issue where repooling with high quantity of magazines goes on indefinitely. They fix an issue where mouse sensitivity increased by lifting vehicles with a multi tool depending on the weight. They fix an issue where rotating the item in inspect mode would highlight nearby items. They fix an issue where there are several this area issues throughout the hammerhead. They fix an issue where death and pain while lines not working in the PU. They fix an issue when the opposing team ends the game by suicide if they are awarded the victory. They fix an issue where all items can be powered simultaneously in an engineering gameplay in Arena Commander. They also fixed an issue where the 2953 Vandal Aggressor badge is not unlockable. They also fixed an issue where only the first fuse slot in the fuse box affects power flow. Along with this is 5 client crashes and 4 server crashes. You guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video.